now to an increase in what residents believe to be gang tagging. It's bringing frustration to a Kearns neighborhood. ABC 4's Annika Johns joining us live from the area after meeting with residents about what they say is going on. Annika? Yeah, Emily, so for several months, an area in the Kearns neighborhood says they've seen an increase of fences tagged with unknown words and symbols. You can see just one of those fences behind me right now. Now, those who have done it have been caught on camera, and this neighborhood is looking for a solution to a problem they say is beyond disrespectful. We have had several young men that are coming around and tagging our fences. This is the second time that the neighborhood has been tagged with, I believe, to be gang affiliation tags. They were just walking by, decided to play artists with the fence. Enough is enough. A Kearns community is uneasy after residents say they've captured a group of young men on camera tagging various fences throughout their neighborhood. We've cleaned it up once before. It happened in November, and then it just happened again yesterday yesterday. Disguised with hoodies and ski masks, residents say they have no clue who these young men are, but have a working theory of who they are associated with. Uh, it might just be an instance of uh, maybe some type of a gang war or a turf war, but other than that, I, I can't think of any other reason why this would be going on. Rose continues saying they have contacted Unified Police about the issue and the department told them they have seen an increase of tagging in the area and are looking into it. However, Rose says until this is stopped, his neighborhood remains on edge. Uh, in talking to uh, the various different neighbors, the, you know, it kind of has us frightened. Residents are calling for their neighbors to band with them in hopes of putting a stop to this behavior, ensuring no other properties are damaged and that no one gets hurt. We have a decent neighborhood. We don't need this going on in our neighborhood, any neighborhood. These young men need something better to do with their lives. Um, if they end up in jail, maybe they can learn a new skill. Now, ABC4 has reached out to the Unified Police Department for comment on this situation, but we have yet to get a response. Reporting live from Kearns, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.